All right, I got down real quick here and turned on our fan. Maybe you can hear it running down there. That's going to be your first step. We've got our first load of the, our, all our small wood inside of there. I'm going to light this piece of paper trash on fire. I've got some paper trash inside of it. We're going to drop that down the hole. And we're going to drop some of this finer wood right on top of it. Of course, that's if the lighter wants to light for me here. There we go. All right, so we've got that lit. Let's give that just a second, try to get some material going. There it is down inside of there. May not have lit quite right. We might have to do this a few times. So you might see a couple edits. But if not, we'll get it right the first time here and just keep going. Just letting you know if you do see an edit from here, that's why. So I'm dropping in just a little bit of that finer wood here. And that's going to help me get some of it going right in the beginning. All right, it's going to be difficult. I'm going to have to stand pretty tall up here to, to keep that smoke from damaging my camera and the heat that's being generated. So we're going to watch that for a moment down in there. You can see how well it's already burning. Okay, we're going to let that paper trash and uh, those pieces of wood actually fully catch here before shutting our lid down. I don't know how well that's going to show up for you, but you can see the smoke's already starting to generate pretty thick here. All right, I can I can tell right now by the sound that we're getting pretty good ignition through the system. You can probably see in there and see uh, flames rolling around a little bit. It's difficult to get the shot just right through the smoke and the glare and the sun and everything else. But you'll notice the smoke being generated right now out of the top is pretty good. Well, I'm going to go ahead and dump just a couple more handfuls of this stuff on there. I hear the paper being drawn down. All right. All right, our reactor now is fully started up from the initial start process. That's the paper trash finally catching most of the wood we dropped in there. You can see the smoke output from our fan is already pretty good. Uh, once you're really certain that the wood and the paper that you've put in there is fully on fire, what we're going to do is take a few of these buckets of wood right here, already ready to go, and we're going to dump that in on top of that once this is fully started. Make sure you don't put that in there until you're absolutely sure that what you started out with has already begun to coal. Otherwise, you'll just put it out and stop the whole reaction and you have to start all over again. And that can be really difficult since you don't want to start this from all the way up at the top somewhere. You want to make sure that reaction and the, the fire is all down there inside of that tank, down inside of your barrel. You also notice there our smoke contents getting thicker and thicker as this keeps going. All right. So let's go ahead and shut the lid for a moment and let that work with the lid shut until it's fully gotten our lower reduction zone uh, nice and cindered up. There's a lot of coals and red hot going on inside of there. Then we're going to dump these buckets in there. And you'll be able to tell that fan's really going to start pumping out the smoke here. Always remember when reopening your reactor top here, do not do it with your body above it. I'm going to go ahead and step down and away from this and get lower than it is because the flame that I've seen at night come out of the top of this is uh, a good 10 feet high and you really don't want to be in its path. So always open it from down below down here, which uh, this side I might have... Uh, some kind of pole top piece right here so you can get to that easily from down here. Open and shut the system and not expose yourself to a possible puff that these things can do. So give it a moment, let it puff, go up there. Never put your body over the top once you've got any real reaction taking place. Don't learn that lesson the hard way. Keep everything out from above these things once you've got them going. Uh, so once again, that was just the safety part of it. You'll notice our smoke production is doing pretty well. That means right now what's happening is, is our fresh air input pipes are drawing that air right over the top of that paper trash and that wood we put in there, helping burn right there and then drawing down that fire through the center of all the, the restrictor area with the bigger wood we put in there. Once I'm confident that bigger wood's caught on fire and it's not just a bunch of paper burning, uh, we're going to go ahead and start filling it up with the buckets of material. So give me a moment, I'll set the camera up and you can see that from a distance. 
All right, I'm pretty confident right now that we've got our reactor started well. I can tell by the smoke color and the output. I'm going to carefully open up the top of our reactor here from down low. I'm going to show you how to do this. Give that just a second just in case it wants to puff on you. I'm going to go around this other side. And I'm not going to expose my head any higher than this right now. And I'm going to take one of these buckets of material and go ahead and start feeding that tank. Because the real reaction that you're looking for inside of this system isn't taking place right there where the air jets are. The real reaction is the pyrolysis action. That's taking place due to the heat and pressure created at the burn zone above it. So now all the stuff I'm putting in now will actually create our synthetic gas we're looking for. So let me go ahead and dump one more bucket in there. Alright, I'm feeling a little more confident now that we've covered some of that. I can take a look. Alright, that looks like a pretty good load of wood. I'm going to leave some of that in there. I'll be out here for the next 10 hours if I keep filling this thing up, so I don't want to be here that long. Get rid of any of your top pieces here. And go ahead and shut down your top. It's ready to go now. We still have the spring to mount to this, but we'll do that before the project's all over. Hopefully you can see there that our smoke output is really thickening up. We can take a light or two that quickly. I doubt that's going to light quite yet, but uh, we can see how close it is. Neat thing is, is it wasn't putting out my lighter. That's pretty good for how quick that gas production. I'm actually already getting flare off. All right, so it's not putting out my lighter. That's a pretty good sign already. Uh, we're going to let that run for just a few minutes. And once it's up to temperature, this should be producing synthetic gas for us just fine we should be able to walk up and light the smoke out of here with no problem so let me let it warm up and I'll turn back on the camera alright this is a pretty crude way to show you the synthetic gas and how well it lights I'm gonna have to hold this all together while I'm doing this but you can see what I've got it's just a tin can on two inch piece of pipe I allow an airflow and there you go synthetic gas is lit there's a difference without it being lit there you go that's it lit There you go. It's not quite enough airflow. We're not cooling the gas quite enough with such a short distance. And like always here, we've got a pretty decent wind. There we go. We've got a good flame rolling out of there. You notice the gas is not going anywhere. There we go. That's great synthetic gas production. As long as the lighter's hitting it, it'll burn it. The second you take it away, you'll notice it'll come back. It means I don't have it cool enough and I don't have quite enough airflow. So we're definitely going to produce more than enough fuel for our truck here. There we go. It's staying lit now. That was for a moment. I'm going to have to be careful not to lose my eyebrows with this or the wind turns on me. You can see when it does light, it disappears for a moment. It's lit right now. All right, well that's a pretty good showing. Without really getting it cooler, without mixing the proper airflow, it's about as good as an experiment to show you this as I'm gonna get. We're getting